Ever wondered if there are scientifically proven ways to increase penile length? Well, you're not alone in this curiosity. It's a topic that seems to pique the interest of many men, yet it's shrouded in a myriad of misconceptions. There's a significant amount of curiosity and dare we say, concern about penile length. But how many of us truly understand the science behind it? We live in an era where information is at our fingertips, but separating fact from fiction can be a daunting task. That's where the insights of medical professionals come in handy. In this video, we're going to explore the scientific truths about penile length, debunking myths and misconceptions along the way. We've even got a urologist on board to share their expertise on this intriguing subject. So let's delve into the science and bust some myths with insights from a urologist. Now, let's unravel the scientific truths about penile length. The length of a man's penis, like many other biological characteristics, is determined by a complex interplay of genetic and hormonal factors. Genetics plays a significant role, with variations in penile size often running in families. This isn't something you can change, much like you can't alter your height or the color of your eyes. Hormones also play a key part in this equation. Testosterone in particular has a significant influence on the development of the penis during puberty. However, once you've reached adulthood your penile size is pretty much set in stone. Your hormones can't make your penis grow larger, just as they can't make you grow taller after a certain age. Now you may have heard about penile exercises, often touted as a way to increase penile length. These exercises typically involve stretching or jelking, which is a milking-like motion, applied to the penis. The idea is that these exercises can increase blood flow to the penis, potentially leading to increased size. However, it's important to note that the scientific evidence supporting the effectiveness of these exercises is scant at best. Most studies on the subject have been small and poorly designed, and the results have been inconsistent. Some men report gains while others see no change at all. And in some cases these exercises can even lead to injury if not performed correctly. Furthermore, the human penis is not a muscle that can be exercised and grown like your biceps or quads. It's a complex organ made up of various types of tissues including erectile tissue, connective tissue, and blood vessels. Trying to increase its size through exercise is a bit like trying to stretch your earlobes to make them bigger. It's not likely to work, and it could potentially cause damage. So while the notion of increasing penile length through exercises might sound appealing, the science behind it is not as straightforward. What does a urologist have to say about all this? Well, a urologist perspective can shed light on the matter. They might explain that while it's natural to be curious about size, what truly matters is sexual function and overall health. In fact, they might emphasize the point that most men who believe they have a small penis actually fall into the average range. They could discuss the role of penile exercises, citing that while some men have reported success, there's a lack of scientific evidence to support these claims consistently. Even methods like pumps and extenders they might say, have limited scientific backing and can potentially lead to unwanted side effects. Moreover, they might stress that surgical interventions, though they can lead to modest increases in length, come with significant risks and should be considered as a last resort. The key takeaway, they could conclude, is to focus on maintaining good overall health, both physical and mental, which contributes greatly to sexual health. In conclusion, increasing penile length is not as simple as it seems. It's important to have realistic expectations and understand the science behind it. So, what's the takeaway from all this? We've delved into the science behind penile length, debunked myths, and heard from a seasoned urologist. It's clear that understanding the science and setting realistic expectations are vital. But, most importantly, let's not forget that health and confidence are the real game changers. Remember it's not about size but about health and confidence. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, comment and share. Stay tuned for more insights on men's health.